Hi all, welcome to Carpet Woodcraft, I'm Cal. In today's video we're going to be building this lovely kitchen island and to be honest it's one of my favourite projects today. It's actually super simple to build, the construction of this is unbelievably basic. Now in the video you'll see me using some, some expensive-ish tools like the uh, table saw and the miter saw and the pocket hole jig and other bits and bobs but you could honestly you could build this with such a basic array of tools. Uh, it, there's nothing fancy involved in it and it just turned out looking absolutely stunning. We won't have a close-up look at it now, we'll do that at the end. From now we'll go straight over to have a look at the plans and straight in to the build. When it comes to designing my project I don't use CAD or SketchUp or any other digital software, I just use a pencil and paper. Here you can see there's the final project and it's going to look something along these lines and it's got the finished dimensions on there. Here you can see a little through section of what the project is going to look like and this is the MDF sections. I've got the cut list for the MDF. So we've got two at 738 by 760. We've got two at 832 by 100. And we've got one at 832 by 760. All the legs are going to get a small taper on the bottom and the way I'm going to do that is butt that up to the fence here and then I can simply cut that but that won't be very safe so what I'm going to do is use a piece of tape, painter's tape, pop that on the fence, use a block of wood as a stop block, put a bit of painter's tape on that, a bit of super glue, activator and attach. That way I can butt my piece of timber up to the stop block That'll be a lot safer and I can make that cut and it'll be repeatable. The legs are simply getting glued and nailed on. Standard PVA wood glue. This side's almost complete now, the basic structure. We need to do these pieces on here so I just need to rip another one of these down in half and that does both sides and then put the top rail and a bottom rail in and then one more style down the middle which hides these screw holes. Jake's just checking his lymph nodes because he's uh, had his second Covid jab and it's made his uh, armpit swell. We like just like a big jigsaw doing these. One piece, then the next piece, and then the next piece. Whoa! Well, now that's a perfect example of why don't put your fingers near the, where the brads are going in. I'll show you. That's exactly why you don't put your fingers anywhere near where you're bradding. In there, out there. These two pieces are easy to do. All we're gonna do is take a referential measurement and all you need to do as well is sneak up on it. So make it a tiny little bit big. If you want a nice tight fit, sneak up on it with a mic so glue and brad that in. Same up here and then the center piece. <laughs> Once you put this centerpiece on, then that'll hide the screw holes. The kitchen island's all coming together now, and as you can see on top, 
the support struts have been secured with pocket holes so we just need to cut two more of them for the far side pocket hole them into position and then we can start the process of filling and painting And I'm just filling all the brad holes, any little cracks in the pine, like this piece of pine here has got a few cracks in it down here, any knots, because this is all we're going to be getting painted. So just put plenty of filler on, put it on nice and thick, and then it'll be all sanded flush. One last piece to add, and then that's the carcass put together. And I'm just going to clamp these ones on, I'll leave these till tomorrow, and I can come back sand this down. The process of filling, sanding, filling, sanding, filling, sanding is now complete. I'm going to put two coats of undercoat on, acrylic undercoat, and then we're going to put three coats of white eggshell on. on the shelf stout and I've got what I've got is some 9mm oak veneered MDF and it's got a really good quality veneer on this real nice and thick and uh, then I've laminated that onto some 18mm MR MDF so we've got some nice thick solid shelves for the front of the shelves we're going to make them look a little bit thicker with some solid American white oak and I'm just going to rip this down now on the table saw So this is the shelf and Lily's just going to be adding face frame to it now. That's simply getting glued on and we'll add some clamps because we don't want any brad nails or anything like that showing. And this one's been sanded and then it's been sprayed with water to raise the grain. Look at this. That's what it goes like when you raise the grain. And then after you've sanded it down, that'll be lovely. We've sanded the top to 80 grit, and now Lily's soaking everything with some cold water and then wiping it off. And that's gonna raise the grain, make it go slightly fluffy. And then we're gonna sand it down with 120 and 180 and then we're going to apply the finish which I think is going to be some mineral oil Right, Lily's just attaching the oak trim. We're just attaching it with some PVA wood glue. Now our ketchup bottle, made famous by Mark at Dana Maid. When you're doing your mated corners, when you come to the last one of your four, don't do what Lily does and just try and cut it straight to length. Always cut it a little bit long and then sneak right up in it. How many cuts did that just take me to get right up? Perfect. Six. About six. But look how it fits. Very good. But as you can see, it's a bit on the big this big side, this one, but we'll hand plane that down.
Now I've got myself a nice block plane, I much prefer putting a chamfer on with this rather than the noisy round tank. The shelves are going to get this hard wax oil. This is a little bit more hard wearing and some pans and that are going to be stored on here. I'm putting this BB Brandon Bespoke Food Safe Pure Tongue Oil on the top and this was gifted to me by this company and it's a local company within the UK so I'll leave the links down to them below. This stuff is beautiful, you can just feel the quality, it feels lovely. What a beautiful finish this, I really like it. Last but not least, add the shelves. Got a couple of spaces at the bottom. Take 157. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Right, if you've if you've stayed till now, you've probably enjoyed the video then, guys. Uh, if you did, don't forget you can like, you can subscribe, and you can comment. If you comment, you'll most definitely get an answer. If you ring that notification bell, then every time I release a video, you'll be notified. We do build videos, we do uh, review videos, and some woodworking business content as well. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel and you're a regular viewer of the channel, you can do that through PayPal, Patreon and channel membership. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fly over to the unit and we're going to have a good look at it from all different angles and then I'll see you next week on another build video which is going to be a baby changing unit. See you next week guys. Bye. Let's go have a look.